Hey, everybody, we're back. It's Dreamtime Wisdom with Catherine and Tanya. So glad to have you here. Really excited today. Today, we're going to talk about dream interpretations. We actually have quite a few dreams that we're going to discuss, and we're going to discuss some interpretive meanings of them. I'm going to start. Uh, we had a few people uh, reach out to us and uh, on social media and email, and they sent us all these really wonderful dreams that they wanted interpretation. So I'm going to read the first one. It's, um, I was at an auditorium with a couple of people one that looks out over a bay, kind of like the English Bay in Vancouver, Canada. We were watching the water when three killer whales with a pink color outlining their white markings came and jumped out of the water right in front of us. They did this several times. I reached for my phone to take a picture when my purse fell into the water. I jumped in after it, after it and pulled it out, but I kept dropping it. When I finally got out of the water, I started choking like I was drowning. I coughed up several orange feathers but I still felt one stabbing my neck. So as I pulled it out, I could feel that it was deep and it felt like it was going right through my throat. I felt relief once I pulled it out. Exhausted, I went to leave and one of the people with me gave me a cup of tea that said, shame on you for giving up. I turned to leave and the dream ended. Catherine, I think this dream is loaded. Tell me what you think. Well, I'm gonna tell you, Tanya, it is loaded and so, so many symbols. So whales in a dream okay whales <laughs> whales are huge like quite literally um so a lot of people meaning the ancient people our ancestors believe that the whales are the record keepers of the earth okay so this is why whales as a symbol is a huge symbol okay now the whale on a spiritual level it can represent rebirth so in terms of when she saw the whales, this is rebirth, something new coming into her life or working towards a new phase in life, right? Like almost like a rebirth, okay? Um, the group of whales is associated to a support system. And because there were three, this could indicate three family members, three friends, a group of three that she feels very bonded to um, or close to. The pink, you know, pink associates with love, right? Water, depending on the color of water, and this is how I interpret water, meaning is the water dark? Is the water crystal clear? You know, water can be a good omen and water can be a bad omen. I feel overall of the tone of this, that the water was quite beautiful because the whales were jumping out, um, showing us that, you know what I mean? That they're breaking free, okay? It's a rebirth, re-energized, new coming into her life, okay? Um, and then she goes with the feathers stuck in her throat. What is in our throat? Our throat chakra. Um, so there's something she's been wanting to say, wanting to discuss, wanting to deal with. Orange feathers, um, you know, feathers are typically a good omen, but because they were orange, it's to stay positive and trust her inner voice, to trust herself, to go for it. Um, and to not give up. And what was the, when the tea came? Um, exhausted, I went to leave and one of the people with me gave me a cup of tea that said, shame on you for giving up. Yeah, but that's her. She feels like she's giving up if she breaks free. Do you understand? If I break free and experience new birth, am I giving up on my family? Or am I giving up and my family is not going to support me? And or with the purse dropping, am I going to lose my money? Do you understand? So it's very loaded. So I'm going to say, is the listener, I'm not listener, <laughs> is the dreamer here looking for a change in life, changes in relationship, changes in career? Because this is basically herself telling her, that it's time and not to give up and to go towards this rebirth because she is on path. And that's what I feel the interpretation of the dream is. And to know because it's a group of whales that she is supported. Um, you were you said about the throat chakra. I think that's a really important key element um, because yes, she probably doesn't 
feel that she can express this to the people that matter, the, her inner circle. Is that something that you understand? 100%. Yeah. Uh, and as well as yourself, because sometimes when we go towards making life decisions, I feel the biggest person or the most important person in the room is yourself, meaning am I going to be okay? And telling yourself that making this decision, yeah, you will be okay. That's, that's the hardest one to appease. Right. Um, I had another question, just kind of offside. Could those colors be related to chakras as well or aura colors? They can be. Um, so yeah, a hundred percent. They could be because orange, <laughs> please forgive me because red is grounding. Orange is our solar plex, correct? No. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we should know this, right? I know. It's hard to keep Bottom track. line, yeah. it's the gut. I'm going to say it's in that area because there's, you know, red, orange, yellow around that area is trust the gut. And that's what I'm going to state as well as something could be going on in terms of hormones, because I do feel that's around the abdominal region. So to, if there is to speak up to your doctor. Okay. Yeah, that's a, that's a really good one though. I really like that. And a lot of messages there. So I hope the person that sent it in is watching the video and um, hopefully has some benefit from the, uh, from the interpretation. Now, Catherine, you said that you had a few of your own dreams that you wanted to share. I would love to hear um, them. Yes. And as we know, I believe it was the 16th. Today we're the 18th. The 16th was a new moon. I mean, a full moon, new moon, full moon, but actually a full moon. And as I've stated before, it's generally three to four days prior to the moon and the week of the moon that a lot of us experience extremely vivid dreaming, lucid dreaming, prophetic dreams. I myself had a dream and it, some of the symbolism is quite common. So that's why I'm bringing this up. I had a dream of a dog, like my dogs, my puppies, they're beautiful. They're golden retrievers. Um, so in my dream, uh, it was actually almost like a nightmare and I don't have nightmares. So this is my first dream. So I was dreaming that it was dark out. So this could be early morning or in the evening. I had a light on and I was in my kitchen and then I went to my living room by my front door and it was wide open. Like, why would that be? And I was thinking that in my dream. And then out of nowhere, this tall, tall figure comes with something red on him. And my dogs, instead of attacking the intruder, are jumping off on me to save them. I was losing it in my dream. My husband ended up waking me up. Um, I went on my day as per usual. And all I knew is that we, I'm going to break this dream down because it was light. And then I went into the dark. So sometimes dreams can be opposite, meaning something that's hidden in the dark will come to light. Correct. Or something we think we know we're in the light. And then we go to the dark. Okay. We think we know, but there's something hidden. There's hidden aspects of it, right? The dogs, dogs for everybody are basically, or it's symbol dog, a dog, dogs are man's best friend. Okay. You know what I mean? That's companionship, friendship, loyalty, so many meanings tied up in a dog. However, it always is how we interpret that is what is the dog doing? In my dream, they were jumping me up on me being like playful almost. Um, that just means, are they protecting me? <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> they weren't protecting me. They were looking for protection. Um, and did they alert me? Not really. I could say, is this a friend? I don't know. I could say this is a group of people, a support system. The intruder is still tied to something coming unknown. Now, the color red, uh, we could put red in several packets, okay? Is red passion? Yes. Red can be anger? Yes. Red can be frustration? Yes. Red can mean war? Yes. Do you get what I mean? So there's all these, you know, am I going to find something out? Is, okay, someone going to turn on me? Possibly. Is there good, bad news coming? Mixed news coming? Possibly. So the next night I had another dream and this dream had me 
talking to a little boy and when we talk to children in our dreams, whether they're our own or just children's as symbols, this is generally a good omen. Okay. I always depict children as news. Okay. Whether they're our own, but, and, and sometimes when they're our own, it would depend what they're doing. But in my dream, in this case, this wasn't my child. So this messenger in my dream was asking me to go get him some cauliflower. Now, why cauliflower? Um, cauliflower in a dream, okay? Cauliflower symbolically, spiritually, is tied to, sorry, I, <laughs> I knew I was, <laughs> is emphasizes feminine energies as well as it is tied to, to cycles, especially lunar cycles. So very interesting around the full moon, as well as cycles. So what does that have to do with anything? I go into the store. What was interesting in my dream in the store is, and we all go to the store. Typically when we go, it's like in rows. Do you know what I mean? Like a flat thing where our fruits and vegetables are. This was like diagonally up. Okay. So really weird. I had to climb to get it. So that's a sign of our, in, our inflation meaning price is going to go up um, for the life of me. I was like, what's at the top there? Certain vegetables and fruits were at the top and cauliflower was one of them. So I'm not going to be surprised if the price of cauliflower skyrockets, okay? So I'm walking in the store then, and it was a mix of all the stores, like a superstore, Walmart, Sobeys, Save, like a mix of every store you can imagine. And in the center were all these little baby golden retrievers. Like that's like a heaven for me. So one of them jumps up on me and he's playing with me. So repetitive theme, we go into repetitive dreams, meaning my subconscious, my angels, my spirit team are trying to tell me something. And they're like, hey, Catherine, just get the message. Um, so I'm playing with this little puppy. And what comes out of nowhere? A red and black freaking killer snake and this thing is trying to attack me I've got this puppy pushing on me and I'm trying to move myself and the puppy away from this and I wake up okay so two times already the thing is something coming at me okay um and there's this red component in there as well as this friendly beautiful man's best friend okay so I take it as hidden hidden dangers, something coming to light, okay, because I was in the dark, around cycles, there's inflation, could even potentially show me to watch my pennies, as well as could be a theft, because we're going to add that in there, because red is also associated with passion, frustration, anger. Um, bottom line, I'm going to be on my toes. Um, for this next cycle. And I'm not surprised if cauliflower skyrockets. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I hope that all makes sense as I rant to read. Wow. No, I never would have thought that that's what cauliflower could indicate. So, <laughs> right. So everything has its meaning. Yeah. Um, and the thing in dreams is to pay attention to the symbols. And sometimes I'm asked, so what if I'm just talking to people? And there's nothing in there. Well, there's always something. There's a tone. There's a mood. The place. We can look at the colors of the walls. You can look at the people. Um, I also had a message of somebody dreaming with Kim Kardashian and Kanye. Um, if you're dreaming with celebrities, sometimes that means that's an aspect of yourself. Sometimes that means, you know, especially celebrities like that, that there's a certain amount of exposure there. So what inside of you is going to be exposed or gossiped about? And that's sometimes something we have to question. And this comes up later, but that's the meaning of that. I have something, I don't have a particular dream to talk about, but a lot that recurs in my dreams is I will see someone, so they look like one person, but I know that they're a completely different person. So I'm, you know, it could be you, but you look like, you know, I don't know, my, my nephew or something. Um, so what does that mean when, when the person looks one way, but you know in your dream that person is someone else? Quite often, the way I interpret it is that's a, an extension either of yourself in the main person 
or you see that part in that other person. Do you understand what I mean? Yeah. So if that's your nephew, you see some aspect of him and me or me and them. And if that person has, you have negative interaction with them, obviously you see something similar to watch out for. So sometimes this is in fact a warning dream. Okay. I'll have to go back to some of my dreams and see if that was the case. But yeah, that's really interesting because that actually happens more often than not for me. If, if there's anything recurring, which I don't have too many recurring dreams, but that's a common theme that comes up. I will always see someone that looks like one person, but is another. Right, a recurring thing or theme in my dreams for many years since, and I'm a very vivid dreamer to begin with, um, has always been doors. Really? Open doors, people trying to come through doors. Yeah, very interesting. Um, and some can say doors, is that the doorway to my psyche? Is that the doorway? <laughs> Where's this door really coming from? You know, where is it really going to? <laughs> Nobody knows. <laughs> well, we're trying to figure this out. That's what we do here at right. Time Wisdom. Right. <laughs> right. Through, and a lot of interpretations for myself um, do come from ancestral wisdom. Right. Yeah. No, that's great, uh, Catherine. Thank you so much for sharing your dreams. Thank you for the people that sent in their dreams and keep them coming. You guys can find us on social media. Um, I'm at Life Continuing Podcast on Instagram. Catherine, what are you at? I'm at www.yourclairvoyant.com and I look forward to hearing about your dreams. Me too. Keep dreaming, guys. Till next time. Bye. Bye.